G'day and welcome, my name's Chris, and in this very short video, shortish, we're gonna try out the Kia EV6 and its autonomous parking features. Is it any good? What do they do? How do you use them? We'll explore all that and a little bit more. Stay tuned. In a moment, I'm gonna jump in the car and we're gonna talk about how it's going to maybe potentially find a spot. Then we'll get the drone up, I'll get a GoPro, and we'll let a car do its thing without me being in the driver's seat. It's kind of magical. It's kind of slow, as you'll see. Let's do this first demonstration. What you do is you can go up to 20 k's per hour and it doesn't matter, you don't need to indicate left or right, which is what I had to do in one of my previous cars. Um, so what you do is press and hold the P symbol and it says searching for a parking space. And um, what it's doing is it's using the sensors to actually, um, actually measure the distance and it goes, oh, okay, that might be a spot, that might be a spot. And when it thinks it's got one, it will say on the screen, stop. There we go. And so now I actually choose wh where my spot is and it actually is suggesting, oh, I think you want to do that perpendicular spot up there, yeah? Um, it's also suggesting I could do a parallel. There's one that way or one the other way and I've got a message there, but you don't need to know that. So I select it and it says, okay, what do you want to do? Do you want to do it with remote parking or with smart parking? Let's do remote parking. I'm out the car. And now we're going to do it. Wow, it's kind of cool. The steering wheel moved quite a lot. And it's going like a boss. <laughs> That's nerve wracking. I'm still holding my finger firmly on this button, which is probably one of my criticisms that you have to hold it. And it feels like over time, you would break the key fob button by doing this. But that's uh, like one, that's two, so this is number three. And um, yeah, it's doing it. Let's come around here. All right, and it's straightening up. So this is number four. And might I say, it's, it's slow, isn't it? It is slow. All right, is it gonna come back again? It's coming back again. What it's doing is it's getting itself in the center of the uh, two cars here. And stop. All right, so it did it. And it's, it's between both of the cars. So um, it's, it's not bad. Again, I feel like I'm gonna break the key fob. Um, but let's go try another spot and see how it goes there. The other situation where you might want to use summon or like remote parking is this. You come home only to realize that you didn't park the car very well last time and well, I could get in the garage but I won't be able to get out, will I? So let's let the car do it instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the car off. Car needs to be locked, so lock it then I'm going to press and hold the power button and then I'm going to press and hold the forward key and it will use the sensors to understand if it needs to maybe go left or right a little bit look, look how tight that is <laughs> so obviously in this situation it's not happy and you can hear it beeping so I'm going to reverse it I'll press and hold the reverse key and within reason it will actually turn the wheel to get into this very tight spot. But in this demonstration, well, it doesn't appear to want to. So I'll repark the car just slightly to the um, uh, left of the frame and uh, we'll try that one more time. Alrighty, here we go again. So, car is locked, 
going to press and hold to turn it on. Okay, car is on. And now we're summoned. If I let go at any stage, it will stop. All right, now we're going to do the same spot, but this time with smart parking. So I'm going to select that, and it's saying to me, take your hands off the steering wheel, press and hold the parking button, and then release the full pedal. And now I'm not responsible, I'm responsible. Um, I am not doing the accelerator, nor brake, or the actual um, steering wheel. It's doing it all by itself, and I'm just sitting here as almost a virtual passenger. And oh, it's going to hit that. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's got autonomous braking both front and rear. So of course it was going to stop. But my goodness, it's, it's nerve wracking having a computer park the car for you. Um, this second round here and that identical spot, appreciating now that I'm actually in the uh, driver's seat, but again, look, ah, no hands. Um, it's, uh, it's very slow. I can park way faster than this, but Maybe if you're someone who's not very comfortable doing a, let's say, parallel park, this is, uh, this is great. This is really good. Um, my feeling is it's a, a car that I used to have by a certain brand, <coughs> PW, um, was faster at it than this. Uh, and, but you're responsible for the accelerator and brake, but it, it actually did the steering stuff and um, it was very fast. Like I could do it up to 20 k's per hour. It was ridiculous. Um, good little party piece to show off to people as to what a good autonomous break, um, parking can look like or semi-autonomous actually. So here we are, so that's this number four attempt, well that we did uh, four actions, you know, forward, back, forward, back. And this is going to be the final one and I'm going to stop it there. And the stop is a little bit sudden for my liking but that's again well centered, the space between the two cars is very good. Alright, so let's go to the next one and we'll try a parallel spot shall we? I found a place where I can do a parallel park and well there's no cars around but I just did a quick trial and it's going to do it without no cars so awesome. We're at the men's shed, don't ask me why, what the history here is, someone in the comment below if you know the story behind this place, it looks rather pretty actually. Um, so yeah, once again I'll get all the cameras set up and we'll do two trials, one with me in the seat and one with a drone. I think the outcome's the same, so maybe I'll put them side by side on the screen. Yeah, let, let, let's, let's do that shall we. So once again, I'm going to press and hold the park button, searching for a parking space. A few moments later still waiting should have tap one by now nothing all right take two eventually what the heck all right let's try that again two hours later <laughs> Before giving this another go because the last two attempts failed, like really badly failed. Okay, so that was pretty good actually. Um, it's on me that it's actually on the um, you know grass curb there. It's um, one of those sort of softy ones. It's one of the back residential streets where they're kind of like only really two lanes, so people have to do that. Um, and it's mirrored pretty much what the car in front of it did, so that's fair. And um, the I'm not blocking that driveway there, but I'm very conscious of it. Like I would park here normally, but this is just for YouTube. So there you go. Um, I think the utility of it, it's it's perfectly serviceable. I think it's actually a good feature for those people who maybe aren't so good at parking. Um, would I use it? No, I'm, I'm definitely faster. Um, maybe better. I might have overstated my skill. 
who knows but you get the idea so I hope this has been um, a bit of a demonstration and gives you an idea as to how it works and how it functions its limitations because goodness knows for the what three examples I've given you today there was three that I couldn't show you because well they just failed it wouldn't recognize a spot even though I'd say there was a spot the th I think the limitations of it definitely are it needs to have other cars in which to work against if it doesn't have the cars it doesn't know what to do um, so yeah you know it definitely uh, worked in places where there was nothing around but then it would just park just anywhere which is not what you want is it no it isn't but nonetheless look in my youtube video i'll try one more time with a better example of a real life car park but i've got to be very conscientious of you know the camera safety of others and all that sort of stuff so um i've run out of daylight today so that that's all i've got time for so if you have enjoyed it please do consider giving me a sub it's absolutely free if you want to see behind the scenes content get electric news renewables ev news things like that you just don't get here Join me on Patreon where from as little as $2.50 you get that and a lot more. And as per usual, you please be good and be green. And it seems to have stopped. Yep, it stopped. <laughs> well, that, that was a fail. That, that didn't work. Um, we'll try it again. <laughs>